Okay, here's a fun fact. Ohio ranks fifth in the nation with more than 315 reports of Bigfoot sightings, with at least 13 recent sightings in Richland and Ashland counties. And the Buckeye State is a mecca of Bigfoot followers. Should we be proud of that or, or ashamed of that? I mean, you know. <laughs> you just embrace it. I think, yeah. So it's only fitting that there is a celebration packed with unforgettable Bigfoot experiences, hunts, and workshops happening in Mansfield this weekend. And naturally, who do we send to this? Well, was there anybody else? Uh, no. Mike Polk Jr. Ohioans already have to deal with a lot of adversity. We've got bad winter weather, midge invasions, the annual gathering of the Juggalos is held here. Well, as if we weren't stressed out enough, I guess you can add one more thing to the list, and that's Yetis. We're talking about Bigfoot here. In fact, many Bigfoots, it would seem. It's become a bit of a mecca for Bigfoot followers, which is what brought us here to Pleasant Hill Lake Park in Richland County, where Sasquatch enthusiasts are gathering as we speak for the Bigfoot Base Camp weekend. I sat down with two of the organizers to learn more about the event and assess the overall Bigfoot threat to our state. Well, this weekend is our first annual Bigfoot Base Camp, and it's based on a sighting that we had here about two years ago in our campground area, which we're sitting in right now. Louis Andre is a park naturalist and an organizer of the event. Matt Moneymaker is a Bigfoot expert and host of Animal Planet's Finding Bigfoot. Oh. Dude, that's a squatch. There have been reports from Ohio since the 1800s. There's so many deer, even up by Cleveland, it's a hazard. There's a lot of prey for them. In West Virginia, there's also reports that the terrain is so difficult that you don't have the parts where Bigfoots would go, they're, they're not gonna run across people. Right. Here they will. Because it is more flat. It's not hard to avoid people if there's forests everywhere. The hunters say they will be using cutting edge technology to pursue their quarry this weekend. What if we could fly a thermal drone over these Bigfoot areas, transmit it live back to the conference room? So everybody in there, they're not just hearing speakers talking about Bigfoot, but they're actually seeing a live feed from the sky. This location was chosen for the Bigfoot meetup, not only because it's simply gorgeous, but because there was a well-documented sighting here recently. It would have been right here. Right in this area, yeah. Okay, yeah. Campsite 417, this is actually where the sighting happened. There was a mom and dad and two kids that were camping here. They're the only ones camping in this primitive site. Things started throwing things like rocks and sticks at him. Then he started hearing a lot of footsteps and a growling sound and some weird noises he couldn't explain. All of a sudden he heard this loud knocking sound and he went and turned in that direction. It was towards the restroom over here. And he saw a large, over eight feet tall, hairy beast like walking. He was so scared that he dialed 911, gave the story and everything, and one of the things it says, I saw Bigfoot. He actually said in his statement, I believe I saw Bigfoot. What should they be listening for that's distinct if people are listening in the Ohio area for Bigfoots? It's a long sustained howl, and it's a siren-like cadence, Wah! and then kind of trails up. It'd be like this. There you go. Not, not bad. bad. I might have just bit off more than we could chew. We just beckoned two Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> this group may or may not be successful on their hunt for the big guy this weekend. But regardless, they're guaranteed to find some camaraderie and a sense of community. We truly wanted to be a family-involved type activity. So even if you're not a Bigfooter, we have something for you for this weekend. So yes, Ohio does have a lot of Bigfoot sightings. But fear not, he seems relatively harmless. Unless, of course, you're a deer. If you're a deer, I would probably lay low for a while. This is Mike Polk, cautioning wildlife for 3 News. I am so tempted to go run around the woods of Mansfield this weekend. Mess amazing. up their drone experiment. <laughs> <laughs>